Thank you for staying with us. Later this month, the International Black Theater Festival will return to the Triad. Yeah, Triad Cultural Arts Inc. will be offering heritage tours throughout that week, and spots are filling up fast. I'm glad we're highlighting this. Yes, so to tell us more, we have Cheryl Harry, the founder and program manager of Triad Cultural Arts, joining us live. Thank you for being with us. Hi, good morning. Thank you. Good Thank morning. you for having us. Of course. So first, tell us about these upcoming tours. What will people be able to experience? Oh, okay. Well, we are delighted that um, all of these visitors are coming to our city and we have an opportunity to share the rich cultural heritage here um, at the, in, in an expanded way, um, you know, with the plays and, and all the great things they're going to see. They'll be able to really delve more into, into our history and that's what they really want to see. That's what they've asked for. Uh, we are offering a tour package that's called the Heritage Pathways which is a combination of two tours. It's Vessels of Memory, which um, actually uh, will talk about um, the oldest African-American church in the state of North Carolina, the church where the ending of slavery was announced here. And then uh, we'll move over to our historic Happy Hill neighborhood. And that uh, was the neighborhood that of course um, uh, emerged out of um, the ending of slavery and talk about our uh, wonderful project, the Shotgun House Legacy Project. Um, so that's that tour. Um, that morning, that's the first leg of the tour. Um, the second tour is called Up South, and we want to sort of delve into these stories of how Winston-Salem was transformed from the tobacco town to what we know now as the city of arts and innovation. So we'll be doing um, Sika, Renolda House, the Lamb Museum, uh, to tell those stories and how that uh, African-American um, story intertwines with, with that. Um, we're also going over to the International Civil Rights Museum in Greensboro, and that is one of the sold out tours. Okay. Um, we're taking our group over there, but hopefully there, we're trying to, to see how we can maybe get a, a larger transport for that. But of course, everyone wants to see that. And then we have um, this sort of sweet one uh, that's called Heritage Un Unveiled, and that's murals and markers here in Winston-Salem. And it, we're gonna ride through the city and really get to tell the story through the arts in, in that way. And uh, of course, I guess the crown jewel of our tours is the Sil Sylvia Sprinkle Hamlin mm -hmm. Celebrity Tour and Wine Tasting Brunch. And, um, that one will pay tribute to the founders of the International Black Theatre Festival. And um, it's going to be uh, at, um, excuse me, the wine tasting will be at um, Carolina Venus and Hops. And we're going to pair um, brunch with some of the um, wines that's been noted at the theater festival. And in particular, the one that Sylvia Sprinkle Hamlin really, really loved, which was a, um, a white wine. So, we get to taste that. All right, that sounds delicious. And like, <laughs> you have so much going on, yes. which is really great, especially leading up to that International Black Theater Festival. We know that's a huge deal in our area coming back and you get to be mm -hmm. a part of it is great. Um, how long do these tours last? Should people be prepared to be bringing anything or in a certain kind of physical shape to be walking around some of these spots? Um, yeah, the, the tours will last uh, roughly hour and a half. And um, most of them are, are riding tours. There will be some onboarding, onboarding and offboarding during the tour. So people should wear comfortable shoes. We will have water on all of our tours and as well as uh, additional snacks as, as well. Okay, well, wonderful to hear from you, Cheryl. There's so much great things to learn in our area. Thank you for your time. And as you heard, folks, those spots are filling up fast for the Heritage Tours. So to learn more and register, visit triadculturalarts.org.